I'm Wes Johnson, Johnson Hand Controls, and I'm going to show you how to put the mounts on for a Josh Pacifica to do extensions for your disabled drivers. Okay, start with is gear shift mount, which this is a gear shift now, you all know. Uh, I have this built for me, and it has a ridge to lock in under this ridge here. And it's my quarter inch screw and a lock nut to hold it on. J just being on there, it doesn't really need that, but just to keep yourself safe, you don't move it. Just fit it on there. And you may have heard that, maybe not, but that's, now it's on. Okay, now normally this would be stationary because it's in park in your vehicle. I took all the stops out of this, this one so I could turn it. So, start out by choosing what position where you want this. This will depend on where your driver, where your driver is going to need the control now. Now these arms here, the, these are just for display. The arms when you get them are six to about seven inches long. Okay, if you need them longer, just let me know. Okay, but that way you can put them in, bend them, whatever you got to do with them to get them to fit your client. So you snap that one on. Now we have smaller clamps for the other climate control knobs. Okay. They're pretty basic. I make these also. Uh, two set screws, one for tightening it up to the, the, the knob, which it doesn't have to be very tight because it's rubber, so you're going to go with that rubber real easy. And also because it's rubber, when I put them on, yeah, they pretty much stay on. You don't really need to do anything. Up to you if you use them. Okay, and again, they all have control, all the uh, extensions also. So basically, we just do is on these two. You can see there's a height ridge there. You just snap them on, and they'll work. Now this one, this is a little different. I still have some of these in my inventory, and I'm going to be using them, but they're not. I don't, I'm moving all to these other type of mounts now. These are very nice. They're a, a, a appliance a clamp and if they work, they don't come loose, but they're expensive and I break a lot of them trying to do to make them. So we go with this one. All you have to do is take, put it on over, over the, the knob you want and then just squeeze it. It'll, it'll click about three or four times and that's tight enough. Now it'll never come off. If you need to move it, just take and put a screwdriver behind the side here. Put a screwdriver, here's where the clamping is. Put a screwdriver on this side. What that does, that takes it out of the teeth. So you take, put them on, Now, once you've got these on, you're going to want to turn the vehicle on. And so you can have the dash illuminator and figure out what position you want to have these in. So you got to figure out where you want to set, set them at for the knobs. You know, find the center, the center post of it and then adjust them left or right either you want to. Okay. Then all you got to do is slip the arms in. Turn, turn this, this mount where you want it. Again, using the 330 seconds Allen wrench. You can feel it when you start to hit make contact. Just see if you can grab it. Nope. Okay, then the arm. There's two things you can do with this. You can leave it loose, or you can take and put it where you want. Yeah. The, only, the only benefit of it is if they're turning it, it's going to turn and stay in their hand at that right position. They're not going to change it that way. Again, up to you, up to the driver. All right, and you see how they work. It's not brain surgery. Uh, 
that takes care of those. Now, I recommend that you get a stylus with this because if they can't reach the shifter, they can't reach any of these buttons that need pushed on the dashboard. So get them a stylus, it's only a few bucks, and it's tethered so it'll stay with them. They can use it, touch whatever control they need to control. And then when they're done with it for driving for the day, just take it off, hang it on to a controller. And that's what it's going to look like. If you have any questions or problems, give me a call. I can walk you through it. Thank you.